Hi everybody, uh, congratulations on a wild caucus night and I just wanted to share some additional thoughts to what's been put on our blog today. Certainly we've been trying to, uh, the whole MDN team has been trying to share its thoughts and insights with all of you through our blog. It's something I've been thinking a lot about recently because we know that the caucus season itself is very unusual, it's very compressed, it's very early. It will all be over by the middle of February. And there's been a lot written about how this was changing the campaign, but I also think we should start thinking about how it's going to change governing in 2008. And we're going to be faced with a situation where the Republicans will have uh, a nominee of their party who won't be a sitting vice president uh, at the same time that George Bush is trying to cement his legacy. Certainly we saw the difficulty that, that Clinton and Gore, who were good friends and part of the same administration, had in 2000 in keeping things together. And, their side, I imagine that the balance between Mike Huckabee or John McCain or Mitt Romney and the President Bush, starting as early as mid-February, just a week or so after the budget is introduced, uh, is going to be contentious and difficult. Certainly the President has not been terribly good at making room for others. I think he's going to have a very difficult time making room for the leader of their party. And on the Democratic side, you've got a, you know, a Congress that, let's say, has had a tough year. His numbers are not very high. And you can see an obvious strategy of the Republicans where they'll be trying to tie the, the Democrats to an unpopular Congress. The Democratic nominee, particularly if it's Clinton or Obama who are sitting U.S. senators to say that, you know, it's the Democrats who are the status quo, they're not getting anything done, and tying sort of the do-nothing Congress label to a do-nothing nominee and a do-nothing party. And it's going to put tremendous strain on the Democrats, because I think what it's going to mean is that rather than the traditional model of a nominee coming in the middle of the year and running around the country and campaigning for five or six months, you know, our, the Democratic nominee is probably going to have to work with the Democratic Congress who are in charge to get two or three things done on their ultimate agenda as a down payment because they take power as early as mid-February. And it's very possible that the very first question they get in their first press conference after they win is going to be not, you know, who's your campaign manager going to be, but what do you think of Bush's budget? And all of a sudden they will be the opposition leader in a year of eight months potentially of Congress. So these are, I don't think we've seen anything like this in recent years. It means that I think Washington is going to be ground zero in the presidential debate uh, in 2008 in a way that it simply hasn't been in a very long time. Uh, and certainly means that, the, that Congress will be very active and engaged and at the front line. So just some thoughts on this uh, Friday afternoon. It's certainly an exciting time in politics. Good luck to you, whoever your candidate uh, may be.